In this video, we'll cover performing uh, stage two of our vCenter 6.0 to 6.5 upgrade. So we've completed stage one, and just to remind you, stage one is where we deploy a destination vCenter appliance. And I'll just pop into our vCenter server. So basically, after running through stage one of the upgrade, we have a brand new vCenter appliance. This is our new one right here. So what stage two does is it migrates everything from our old vCenter appliance to our new vCenter appliance. So what we'll do is we'll click on continue here. And this is going to launch stage two. So we're going to click past the introduction. What the installer does is it runs through a pre-upgrade check. So it lists out several different warnings uh, just for you to review. Um, so one of the things that mentions here is the uh, NetApp vCenter plugin. And basically this lets you know that after the upgrade, uh, our vCenter extensions may not work. Um, so we will address this after the upgrade. This is going to be one of our post-upgrade tasks where we address the issues with uh, the Solid, v, uh, Solid Fire vCenter plugin. Um, we also have a warning basically letting us know that uh, uh, we want to make sure that uh, uh, DRS is not enabled, not set to fully automated. Uh, we've already addressed that. Uh, DRS is set to uh, manual. And once you've gone through and reviewed all of the warnings for the pre-upgrade check uh, and addressed any issues, uh, you can click on close here. And then you get to choose what you want to actually copy over from the source vCenter appliance over to your new 6.5 destination vCenter appliance. So what I'm going to select is all of my configuration, events, task, and performance metrics. VMware will ask you to configure the Customer Experience Improvement Program. Uh, I'm going to skip that. All right, and then it basically asks you to verify to make sure that you know your source and target vCenter appliance information is correct. And it'll also ask you if you know if you've backed up the source vCenter server and all the required data. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and check this. Now VMware does have a KB article that walks you through how to back up uh, the vCenter database. And that is article number 2091961. So it's definitely not a bad idea before proceeding on with stage two to actually go through and make a backup of your, v of your vCenter database. So we're gonna go ahead and proceed on with the upgrade. So once you've confirmed all of the information, confirmed that you've got a backup of your source vCenter server, then what we can do is click on finish. And basically we'll get a warning that will let you know that after the upgrade completes, the source vCenter server uh, has been powered down. So we're going to go ahead and click on OK. And kick off the upgrade. Okay, so the vCenter upgrade has completed, and what we want to do is log in to the new vCenter instance and check everything out. Okay, so what we can see here is that our original source vCenter instance has been powered down. Here is our new 6.5 uh, vCenter instance. We can confirm that uh, it's now assume the vCenter IP address. 
So we've confirmed that basically our vCenter upgrade was successful and we can go ahead and move on to our post upgrade task.